Okay, we've got some notes here. Pilot's name, Mark Whittam. Mechanic's name, Ash. <laughs> hey, aircraft is the Tiger Moth. At about 15 minutes after takeoff, the engine started randomly losing power. I had to turn back and land. After fixing this, please refuel the aircraft for the next flight tomorrow. Fantastic. Let's go. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Ash, and welcome to Aircraft Mechanic Simulator. A fantastic little game, um, which honestly slipped my radar. Uh, having uh, got my pilot's license in real life, and... Also, uh, having some qualifications trade orientated in, in Australia towards aircraft maintenance, I'd be really interested to see how this game uh, performs in terms of what we need to do. So, obviously, we need to fix the problem with the engine power and refuel the aircraft. So, let's start by uh, lifting up some of the cowlings. I'm going to undo those hooks there, like that. Okay, that panel folds out like that. Pretty damn interesting. And again, it's, if you if you're into the mechanic simulators, this would be right up your alley. When moving parts, you can rotate the camera with uh, movement keys. Scrolling mouse wheel will move the camera closer. Uh, blah 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 blah. Okay, F is to zoom, etc. etc. Now we're going to go to the. We can close tips. Thanks. Now we're going to go and have a look for some faulty parts. Uh, is it a timing gear unit? No, that's fine. The right magneto, that's also fine. Pressure filter, should be fine. Fuel filter, ignition wires didn't sound faulty. Let's just, just double check all the barrels. And the cylinder barrels, they seem to be all fine. Would it be the air intake pipe? Nope. The exhaust pipe? Or maybe the induction pipe? Probably not. And let's just scan the propeller, because you never know, as, as well as the spinner on the front. That's okay, that's okay. Scan the wheels, because we can. May as well just scan everything. Uh, hmm, carburetor. That could probably be one of the reasons why this aircraft has a having issues, so let's scan this. And bingo. Now let's remove the damaged carburetor. Press one. Yeah, okay, thanks, tips. All right. We're going to need to take off the intake here. And it looks like we just click on the screws here. And unlike car mechanic simulator, where you have to hold your mouse until each screw comes off, it does it automatically. Alright, now, what do we need to undo here? Just these ones. And it does two at a time. That is really cool. Okay. Some uh, parts can be repaired on the spot, while others need to be replaced. Go to the workbench and press space to begin. Okay, uh, is this... Well, there is no other workbench here, so let's go and put it over here. Alright. Uh, by repairing parts, you'll save others, which will contribute to your overall score. This will turn help you get promoted sooner. Alright. Okay, there's a little oil uh, nub. Is this sort of a mini game like in other car mechanic sim? Oh, so you use WASD to move around. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Uh, let's click on that one. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory, really. Now we do in here. Ding. And oh, we've got a restored part. Ah, oh, bugger. Well, we fully restored the part, regardless. We're good now. Install mode and put the carburetor and well, the pipe back on. Okay, now we get all we've got to do is put these nuts in. As we're going to watch them go in like that, it's all magical. <laughs> Messing around in a space like this is actually quite open for an air aircraft engine design. Just an inline four engine, except. The fact that it's not inline, it's um, vertically mounted. Um, and inline would mean it would be opposing cylinders, wouldn't it? I forget some of my aviation tra training. Uh, but I am a qualified aviation uh, maintenance engineer. Uh, I uh, worked with Qantas in Adelaide for a little over um, six or seven months. Um, for a little while. So it was good fun while it lasted. But yeah, that's that.
Now let's refuel the aircraft. Uh, in the Tiger Moth is up, the, up, up the above the space in the two wings. Yeah, it's quite an odd placement um, for a fuel tank. Uh, many later variants of the Tiger Moth had like a fuel tank in the rear section here, just underneath the seats. Um, but generally speaking, oh, I had no idea I could climb this ladder and go onto the other side here. Let's just have a look at the environment here quickly. I can hear planes flying over. I want to view them. There they are. Oh god, the sound of that. That is that is utterly it's utterly fantastic. I want to go flying now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of flying, the Tiger Moth here is one of the only aircraft I've actually... Well, actually, let me rephrase. The Tiger Moth here is actually the only uh, aircraft that is vintage that I have flown. So I've flown 172s, uh, 152s, um, all under instruction. But I, the only aircraft I've managed to fly, and I've got two hours to to my name, is in a Tiger Moth at my local airfield. They've, they've got two of them. They run um, uh, tours out of uh, out of the area, and, and it's quite fantastic. In fact, around Melbourne, there are several uh, airfields which have Tiger Moths. It's a fantastic aircraft, and there's nothing like having the wind blowing in your face. Anyway, we need to repair, we need to refuel, so we don't want to. We want to take the ladder, and we're going to put the ladder down, there we are, let's go up the ladder, space, no, actually we're going to be, we're going to be uh, efficient, let's go over to the fuel thing, that way we don't have to do double the amount of time, watch the hole there, I, what, it, no, no, I'm not sliding, I'm just, I'm just really, really, really not doing so well, stably. I think I've broken the game. Please, no! <laughs> anyway, we're just going to stare at the end of this hose. Now, uh, let's take that off. Surprisingly, we're still able to do it from up here. All right, now, insert into hole. Okay, well, that's that's easy easier said than done. I wish these tips would go away. I have played this game a little bit already. Right, so we just turn this nozzle. Task completed. All that's left is put the hose back, and everything should be good. All right. Make sure to put the cap on, too. All right. Here we go. Jump off the ladder, because that's what every sane person does. Put him away. Off he goes. See you later, mate. Alright, now, up the ladder we go. Put the assembly mode on. Screw in the cap. And that's jobs done. Now on the task page, we're basically done. So now we can sign here. Ash, that's that's a weak ash, but anyway. Save spare parts. Final result. Perfect job. Fantastic. Let's uh, continue with the career. Let's see what it throws at us next. I have uh, again, as I said earlier, I. Uh, I have progressed my way through to the early stages of the Spitfire. Uh, as you can see, the pilot asks you to replace the wheels. Do this first. Okay. Yeah. Again, it's a task list. List. So, what we'll need to do is replace these wheels. Now, first, we'll, what we'll do is we will identify the wheels. That way we know they're actually damaged. And we'll just in also inspect left compression legs. Just for safekeeping, I know that that doesn't really matter. Okay, one's in pristine, one doesn't matter, right. So, we need to go and pick up the jack. Shove it underneath. And I like car mechanic simulator, this one's fairly intuitive. I don't know, but this, this Tiger Moth is one of the most simple aircraft ever. If you guys ever get to see one of these, or hear one of these, they sound gorgeous, they look gorgeous, they have thousands of camouflages. And I just, I, I just love the Tiger Moth. The Tiger Moth is is a is a special aircraft. Anyway, we're going to wind this up here, and boom, aircraft's off the ground. You've got to make this O sort of weird uh, circle mo motion, or else it just doesn't work. Uh, but yeah, we have to replace both the wheels. So 
in we go. One, two, three, four, and five. While that's unscrewing itself magically, I'm going to go do the other side as well, because we identified that all these parts needed to be replaced. Alright, there we go, fantastic. Off it goes. Now we're actually down into the wheel hub itself. Magically unscrew that, and off comes the wheel. Simple as that, really. Okay, and we do the same for this guy. And huzzah! Now, let's go to the parts replacement truck. This fella, isn't he cute? I love the look of this guy. And, uh, oh, the setting for this airfield is absolutely fantastic. I love this game. <laughs> it's very immersive. Oh, we need to go back to the back of this truck. I'm an idiot. Okay, now, I think we've got to tick that one. A replace wheel, count two. Okay. Cost and resource points. Okay, so you have an allocation of resource points, but I don't think that matters at this point in time. Now, we port the assembly mode, the new wheels. I should probably put the cub hub cap back on. Nothing like driving around with a wonky hub cap, or flying around with without a wonky hub cap. Anyway, the reason why that's there is to stop dirt getting in the. Uh, in the axle where the, well, it's not really an axle, where, where the uh, landing gear attaches to the main frame of the aircraft. It's literally the only reason, and you'd get all sorts of stuff landing in grass, especially on, on these tyres, is, is particularly fun. Because I have flown a Tiger Moth, I got to take it off. I didn't get to land it. <laughs> the, the, the pilot who was with me was just too nervous after watching me take off, and that, that's understandable. Um, I think we've done everything here. We have. Okay. Time to unwind. Like that. Nothing like a good... Oh, my goodness. Alright. Uh, we pick up the jack. Put him over there. And now I think we've got to refuel the aircraft. And again, we've seen this already. Run it right up to the edge of the aircraft. Grab the hose, climb up the hose, hit F, hit the parts takeaway. Put the hose in. Pretend like we know what we're doing. And fill the aircraft up with as much fuel as possible. There we go. Now, that's not what I wanted, ladder. Why are you running away from me? Okay, F, put away hose. Can I, uh... There we go, now we've done that. That We've saved us having to get back up this ladder again. It's one thing I really dislike. Oh, that, that should be a screenshot. I'll come back to that in a second. Um, I'll put you away. There we go. Of course, you can crouch and run in this... Well, you, you can... Just walking, you can crouch, you can lie down, you can... It, it, it's, it's very cool. Alright, let's let's take this ladder away. We need to get a nice screenshot or two. Apart from the fact that the, the white dot is, will be there. Um, which side is the best side for lighting purp purposes? I reckon this one right here. Here we are. Now, one from the rear as well would be fantastic. Alright, I think we're, the job's done. So, we've done everything here. That'll do. Final result, perfect job, fantastic. Let's go, let's do another one. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. I, I haven't made any mistakes yet, apart from... In the last one, where I misplaced the ladder. <laughs> okay, refill the oil and refuel the aircraft. This one's pretty easy. I already know where the fuel filler is. Uh, maintenance has told me anything. Especially on a Tiger Moth, it's right here. That's what the external... Um, well, this is an external oil tank. 
I wouldn't really say it's external, but it's on the side of the vehicle and it's not on the other side. And it, it, it's usually on the, the side in which the pilot usually gets in or out of the aircraft, unlike, uh, you know, most vehicles. But most later vehicles had integrated oil systems and intercoolers like that, and it gets all very fancy. I just remembered this specific thing uh, from my flight briefing at the time. So we need to take off the oil tank cap. We'll, we'll pretend like that oil has already been drained. As you can see here, according uh, to the log, it's time for an oil replacement. The tank was already emptied. So again, I'd like to do that. Um, I, I'd really like to do that myself, but uh, apparently it's been done for me already. Understandable. Have a nice day. Drag this blue thing over here. You haven't worked out. This is the the 1940s oil carrier or oil pump or what have you. So let's hope it reaches over here. Insert it in there. Remember, filling the oil above the max point may result in damaging some parts. Well, in this case, it's only going to dribble down the, the side of the aircraft here and under and out onto the ground. So I don't know that it will damage that much, although there isn't really much in terms of electrical work on this aircraft, so you wouldn't really have to worry that much. I'm, I'm sure it wouldn't hurt the Tiger Moth, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, Bowser controls. Okay, here we go. Press spacebar. How do I... Okay, you operate it like that. Obviously, that's fast. Fill up. Alright, make sure it's just above the minimum level. There you go, because these things burn through oil a little bit. Cool. Now, take it out with a cloth. Protect the nozzle at the end. At least that's what you do. And of course, it magically sits there. Wow, look at that. Okay, now we just need to put the cap back on. And we can close this up. One, two, because there wasn't really anything else we needed to do. Anyway, let's walk this thing back towards its position. Grab the ladder. And you know what's going to happen next? We're going to refuel the aircraft again. I have a feeling this is going to be a common theme of this, this, this game, if anything. Pick up the Bowser, let's go up the ladder, uh, hit the minus button. Well, not the minus button, the one key. Take off the fuel filler and insert the hose into the tank. Now, jump down here. Bowser controls, oh goodness me, this one's empty compared to the last one. I'm going to put in 10, I'm going to put in almost about 19 gallons. What is that in uh, actual units, please, game? Okay. I suppose this is authentic for 1940s. I'm going to put away the space hose. The space hose. Attach the fuel cap like so. Oh, we don't put it back there. We put him back there. Grab the ladder. Put him back there. Say goodbye to our old pal. And I think we've done everything. Right, let's sign here. Fill the oil fuel the aircraft final result perfect job you know what do they what do they say usually say i'm perfect don't they not really <laughs> but let me explain to you uh what it was like to fly uh, the tiger moth it's very it's a very agile aircraft it's very easy to fly badly uh it's also very uh easy to fly as an aircraft and when I say it's easy to fly badly, uh, there was a program uh, in which they were going to choose current Air Force pilots. Or you know, they just chose a, a random bunch of people from the public to fly. And based off, well this is during, you know, based on wartime training, if you were picked uh, to fly an aircraft and you flew the aircraft particularly badly, or, you know, well, but good enough, but not great enough, you would probably be sent off to Bomber Command or, you know, some other delegated role as a pilot. If you managed to be one of the lucky guys who was flying a Tiger Moth and then progressed to a Hurricane, you're you're lucky. And considering, you know, it's set in the time period of 1940, this is, this is current wartime. 
But anyway, I just thought that was a little bit interesting. What have we got to do today? We've got to refill the oil and fix the problem with the oil system and then refill the aircraft. Okay, so we'll do what we did first. Uh, and then we will take off the oil cap. Then we're going to identify the oil system per se. That's, that's not the button I want. It's not letting me get any higher. Okay. Now, left magneto is pristine. Pressure filter damaged and oil filter damaged. At least we'll have a, a little bit of a play with the mini games. Uh, actually, that shows me when I have the investigation over it that it is empty, which is fantastic. That's something that I hadn't noticed before. All right. No, we don't want to fill the aircraft up, or do we? No, not yet. We're, we're jumping steps. We can't do that. This game doesn't really like it when you jump uh, from part to part. Especially when it's not in order. Come on. There we go. Okay, now we're going to get on the Bowser again, and we're going to fill it up again. This game may seem a little tedious, but I enjoy it thoroughly. There's just something about being in 1940 and actually managing to maintain. A lot of the aircraft, it's particularly... I know it's done differently nowadays in terms of maintenance, but uh, we don't really need these. We just, you know, fill it up like a, not, uh, you know, a gallon drum. We don't really have the massive wheeled contraption like they would here, per se. But boy, is it nice. I love the trucks, the atmosphere, and all the aircraft flying around. It's it's it's, it's fantastic. Now, yeah. put away the hose. All right, now let's pick her up again. Drag this thing away. There we are. We'll go a bit further. OCD's kicking in now. All right, there we are. Fantastic. Now, we need to take out the oil filter system. So that's going to be fun. Uh, we need to minus. That's not what we want to take out. We want to take out this. So we have to take off the cowling. Fantastic. And then we're going to do the other one on the other side as well. Just for good measure. That way nothing gets in the way. We'll undo the top cowling as well. I know you could probably reach in there and replace the parts as is right there. But I think, you know, it's decent to have a look at it. Okay, let's let's remove the oil filter. That part's coming straight out. And now we get the pressure filter. Right, what else was there? Alright, that, that's finally out. I was missing that one particular screw. Okay, let's see if we can go play the little mini game and actually repair these. Right. Let's, let's see. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, possibly six repair points. Okay, let's start with this one. You ready? And click. Okay, that's one. Two. Okay, 67% restore status. Ooh, just in. Oh well. We got the part restored anyway. Oil filter. Oops. One. Two. Let's see, is there another point of filling? Okay, here it is. Three. There we go. I wish there was a little more mini games when it came to repairing stuff. It's not as easy to repair stuff IRL like that. If everything was like this, I'm pretty sure you know they just hire a bunch of people just to do it. I mean, aviation stuff is quite it's quite demanding, especially on uh, you know learning. You're constant learning, like any industry, really. I think there's a, there's a big thing to take home is you, you you should never stop learning which is why i love like vintage aircraft so much okay 
Let's put all the panels back in. Let's put the cowlings back on. I'm going to refuel the aircraft now. And then I think we're, we've got job done. In we go. Down we go. Come on. It's not allowing me to put the, put the part down. Come on. Okay, you actually have to click on it. One. Come on. Oh, it's a little bit finicky in some cases. You think it'd just be quite easy. No, no it's not really that easy. Right. Why aren't you closing? Is there a reason why you are not closing? Let's turn the propeller, why don't we? Ah, uh, we, need, we need to put the oil cap on. That's one thing we forgot to do. And before I've forgotten to do something correct in the correct order. No, I've done everything. Alright, we just need to refuel the aircraft. And we know what that step is like. Pretty tedious, am I right? Um, grab that. Go up the ladder. Undo the fuel tank cap. Put in the fuel hose. And, I've, and of course, we're going to rinse and repeat, aren't we? Alright. Let's fill her up. Boom, we're full. Get away from that. Get up the ladder. Now, one of the things that strikes me the most about this game is it's particularly... Uh, I don't know. It feels a little clunky and finished. I get it's an early access game. But having uh, a lot of features and a, and a lot of interesting things... Um, it's got a low quality sound. It's... The, the camera controls aren't really I intuitive, as I say, um, but I, I, I don't know. Sometimes the, some of the tasks, especially later on, which you'll probably see in the video, depending on how well this one does, uh, makes the the whole game feel a bit iffy. And and being a a licensed aircraft technician, I feel like there's there's you know. This game has potential, especially for the older aircraft, um, and I just, I just, I just love that, that this game is in a setting. But I don't know. Uh, there are so many problems in the game that you wouldn't necessarily have a forethought when it comes to aircraft maintenance as a whole. It's a difficult trade, and as a result, a lot of the Australian companies have gone overseas, uh, particularly to Asia. But this game, I feel like, has, 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 I don't know, has restored <laughs> my interest in aviation more so, only because you get to fiddle with parts. Granted, that's all it is. It's a parts fiddling game. Alright, I think we've filled this one up, haven't we? We have. So all we need to do is pull that out. Oh yeah, I need to put the cap back on. Don't forget the cap. There we are. Put this back. Up it goes. Take the ladder off. Off he goes, and then we're done. So anyway, that was a first look at uh, plane mechanics sim. I hope you enjoyed. Let me just sign off on this job. Ash, refill oil. Fix the problem with the oil system. That's good. All the points. Save parts too. Final result perfect job fantastic and we're we're getting there but uh thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed me just ranting and rambling a little bit even though the commentary isn't exactly on point but yeah this is uh plane mechanic sim anyway guys my name's ash thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one